Let's go. Go, 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 go. When you get older, you, 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 you start having to pay attention to the to the news and what's going on in the world. And uh, Papa, what, 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 what is going on in the world today? Because uh, California, once again, is on motherfucking fire, Papa. Yo, see, now the thing about it, and I'm sure everyone's heard about the Wooly or Wooly uh, fires. I, I was like, not to say that I was waiting for it, but like, I was thinking that God was going to drown California. I didn't think he was going to burn him. Like, he's really putting him through the easy bake oven of shits and in, in essence of emotions and, uh, and natural disasters. Like, it's been it's been ravaging a lot of homes and the weirdest part of this is a isn't this particular area of california like a very rich part of california like the calabasas and what's nuts so i believe yeah calabasas is part of what got hit i did hear that um what was it caitlin oh. jenner's house burned down i think it got close to kanye um, Yo, heard quickly. caitlin jenner one thing that tripped me out because i think i've seen a video of her and her girlfriend who's like a fraction of her age and she's gorgeous and she was just like we're all safe the dogs are okay and he's just showing his, his girl's tits i'm fine like, you know i was like oh i'm bad. so glad I'm so glad that you survived by your, uh, you know, I don't know, but, but yeah. So no, no, shout out I to saw, uh, shouts out to Caitlin. Uh, I saw, what's his name, um, Dame Dash. He, I guess, posted a video and like all the houses in his neighborhood burned down except his. His is like the only one in the neighborhood standing. So Ooh, God love you. I, yeah, <laughs> he, he did something right. But um, yeah, with the California fires real quick, um, so 2018 has been the most destructive wildfire season on record in California with a total of 7,579 fires that have burned a total of 1.6 million acres, which is the largest amount of burn acreage recorded in a fire season, according to the California uh, Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, as well as the National Interagency Fire Center. Uh, the two latest fires are campfire, or is the campfire and the Woolsey fire, which have claimed 79 lives and there's at least 1,200 people missing, and nearly 400 square miles have burned down to the ground, including the entire town of Paradise, California. Um, did you see any of those videos? There's videos of people going back to Paradise afterwards. It's like everything is gone. There was this, um, there was a video of this lady having a speedway train freak just plow through this tunnel where you legit can see the fire shooting from one end to the other and they cannot see for shit. They're just blindly driving. I guess she was trying to transport horses back and forth from her farm. Mm. And I laugh really quickly on that because Ireland Baldwin, um, uh, Alec Baldwin's daughter with Kim Basinger, she mm. apparently was helping transport, you know, shit back from her mama's house. And what tripped me out is the police, because mind you, when you look at her, she, you know, she she has a she has a you know she has titties and whatnot, but like she looks a little suspect. I'm not too sure from living the um, affluent life that she has or whatever, but she got pulled over by cops. I thought she was one of those looters, and uh, she had to like give an explanation, like, oh, this is my mom, oh, this is my daddy, you know, and play her cards so that they wouldn't, you know do some shit to her but yeah so I, I know that yeah there's definitely a whole lot of that back and forth and some people they decided to to keep it keep it pushing and they stayed you know what i'm saying like like those idiots we see like in little parts of hawaii where like volcano here every year you know we, we don't move volcano move. I, I don't know yo and shouts out to those people i don't know how you do it because i i mean i love i i love my home i love the the state that i'm in but if the motherfucking government's like hey man y'all gotta leave i'm like all right man i'm i'm heading out y'all got y'all stuff let's bounce like real real talk i'm getting my video game systems i'm getting my studio monitors and i'm getting the fuck out of here and i'm gonna pray to god that this bitch does burn because i've been paying for insurance <laughs> what i've been paying this money for <laughs> yeah. to burn down and give me another house somewhere better hmm, tell me you dig? You dig? Yeah. And quick shout out to uh, Carrie Hart, who former motocross extreme bike person, who is married to, to Pink, the artist. Mm. 
I laughed and I felt bad because there was articles that that was referencing him as instead of the person that he is, Pink's husband, uh, and then you know give an explanation. Carrie Hart, you know, I guess he was he was a cop post stud on the gram saying shooters or, or uh, violators or looters getting shot on sight with him and a bunch of other uh, coincidental white people that were you know shirtless, look like they were banging with the ARs and whatnot, and. I just felt, I felt the mind you, I know it might sound like a sexist thing, but and not that I'm anti-feminist, because the Lord knows I love dick and feminist, but at the same time, like, I felt bad because they just referenced him as, oh, the husband of Pink. Like, she's that much big of a star. He no longer has a name. But again, they probably did it for clicks, but still, I just felt bad. <laughs> that was all bad. Now, apparently in the wake of the latest fight wildfires, many residents are facing health related issues. There has been a norovirus outbreak in uh, Butte County and dozens of Bay Area schools have canceled classes with unhealthy levels of smoke in the air. And um, apparently firefighters may receive some type of relief this week as forecasts show that the West Coast is going to get a series of storms starting this Monday. Now, it was crazy because I was uh, having a conversation with a, one, a client of mine that I had completely forgot is in california and so uh we were talking and i was like i was like can y'all like see the like the smoke in the air and she was like yeah she was like i literally look look out of my office window and i can see the smoke and all that and she was like uh where she lives at is actually even closer so she's like it's even worse over there and then she was saying that she has a uh granddaughter that goes to this one high school and that high school um their volleyball team plays like this other high school but that high school got burned to, down to the ground and then she had talked about how last year the wildfires last year burned her aunt's house down and so like it's just crazy to hear all these things that you know like kind of hit close to home and she was like yeah she was like, I wish they would explain like what's going on like this is something growing up we never experienced but now this is like a reoccurring thing that's happening all the time and again it's only certain conversations I'll have you know with certain people but in my heart of hearts and thinking in my head it's this is global warming this is exactly what how global warming from scientists is described you have weather events you have out in california where you have fires you have dust storms out in arizona you have uh snowstorms out east and as global warming continues all, all of these different events get stronger and stronger and that's the reason why those of us that grew up in arizona these dust storms are dustier than they've ever been before and that's the reason why these snowstorms are getting worse than they've ever been before and that's why the people in california are like whoa wait things are catching on fire a whole lot more often than they used to it's because the weather is changing due to global warming there's the evidence people well, <laughs> it's not made up by china and this isn't some democrat versus republican thing this is science <laughs> i mean well, shit. The fact that everything is definitely intensifying, amplifying itself, I mean, that is showing you there's been def a drastic imbalance. Did you ever read about how they said they wanted to bring back, and I'm not sure if we talked about this back when we had the IBHM podcast, but there was, they wanted to bring back, um, not manatees, what were the original elephants back in the day? Mammoths. Oh, uh, yeah, mammoths. mammoths. They wanted to uh, somehow regenerate those things so they could put them in the ice spheres to, I guess, create some kind of pressure to push down on the water or I don't know exactly understand how that would have had some kind of effect but did you ever, did you ever read about that no I, I, I didn't see that but I would play one beautiful song for them and that's a song off of Astro World by the great Travis Scott <laughs> saying stop trying to be God because that's not oh. who you are I, no. I would play that record for him stop trying to be God Legit, legit, because I listened to the album, and we haven't really talked much about uh, current hip-hop stuff, um, but when I give the album a listen, you know, a lot of it was, eh, like, I probably won't pay attention unless there's a music video for it, but that song, though, was such a strong single, and even though I didn't care for Kylie Jenner, you know, playing God in, in that uh, in that aspect, uh, I do like the way he sprinkles her around. Of course, who, who wouldn't like to brag about his baby mama being in fucking the cover of Forbes? But that that song was dope though, because honestly, you really can't. Yes. I don't know. So shouts out to them, and shouts out to the California listeners. I hope everything you know gets better. But uh, let me ask you something either... before, before we get off the subject. Of the oh, I don't know if we were ready to, to get off the gas on this one. But oh, you no, about Miley Cyrus? Okay. 
No, no. But oh, what about Molly? About Molly Cyrus, like wanting there to be like a funding, like to support the celebrities that have lost their homes. Could you believe that shit? I didn't see that. And uh, to that, my response would be, that's the reason why entertainment industries and all these different things, that's the reason why we need unions. Because if you had proper unions in place or whatever, don't ask regular broke people to help you rich people get back on your feet. That's what that union would do. It would fucking help you guys out. So I did see that in there, like there are some um, different funds going out or uh, GoFundMes and different charity things and all that. And by all means, I mean, help, the people in need but the rich people like how much in need is there yeah and on like, top of that like if they have three homes <laughs> like they have three homes or yeah. something like that that i can understand look look we're in a tight budget imagine having to pay for three homes electricity this this but that's such a first world higher echelon problem who i can give a f about your three homes come down oh. to two please oh sell my one God. home my Malibu home went down. I have seven other homes across the country, but I really need people to pay for this one because I don't want to have to pay for it again. No, you oh. know, can you imagine this being an argument? My Mal my Calabasas house just burned down. I'm going to have to go move back to New York in my triple-decker, I don't know, high-rise studio apartment where it's so cold. Little My, my, my little chihuahua named Kiki cannot take such extreme temperatures. Like, <laughs> that made me, it really made me want... I wish I could... If I... if. If I wasn't looking at this shit through my own phone, I wish I could spit on the screen. Matter of fact, I think I did, and I played it off like I was cleaning it, but I was that <laughs> flabbergasted by this bitches. Uh, you know, because I, I think I saw Gerard Butler, or the dude from 300 or whatever, mm -hmm. he had made some kind of shout out to one of the fun campaigns that at least goes back to the firefighters. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. that's one stuff. You know, give it to the firefighters. But this bitch, to, to, to say that her and uh, one of the Neo Lee Sims, I don't know if the guy who played Thor or whatever, whoever Hemsworth brother she's bagging, to, ask for for people to donate to get to get her house back up like go chuck go choke on a dick you know what i'm saying and then on top of that speaking of bitches that probably never had choked on a dick because they're too skilled uh kim kardashian you heard about her and kanye like paying for their own private firefighters to that. make sure that their cal their home can stay intact and at one point i'm thinking to myself well of course you would probably put the money in to be like hey we're filming we got this this is our this is our studio lot we can't let this bitch burn at the same time also think you know i don't know i'm also thinking myself, well, where the hell did you get these at? no no go ahead I was like, where'd you get these extra firefighters from? And why the fuck ain't they trying to, you know, you know, stop the damn fire from popping off wherever it is? You know, I don't know how they contain things. I'm sure there's a science to it, but the fact that she was able to get her own private firefighters, I was like, and I wanna, I wanna know what number they're dialing through to get to that line. But hey, uh, I've been no, it is more three times. <laughs> no, but it is crazy, and um, I, I just hope that either. Either the government is trying to figure out some way to avoid these because this is going to happen again next year. And then what we've been saying with global warming for the past, like, it's been like seven to 10 years. Every year has been the hottest year on record, break, breaking the previous record of the year before. Same thing with this. This is the most destructive wildfire season. So this leads me to believe chances are next year is going to be even worse. We need to figure out something to tackle this because this is a mess and this is only going to get worse this is only going to get worse because that was the thing uh, shouts out to tesla who was uh talking about uh when he was on the joe rogan podcast and he was talking about the whole tesla cars and so on and so forth and he was saying how and he had a real good point he was like even if uh all the new cars starting today were all electronic cars he was like all the gas cars and all that are still going to be on the road for another 20 to 25 years so we're still no matter what we do and change and affect today or wherever we're still are going to see these issues increase for at least the next 20 to 30 years so this we're we're at a point we're getting close to the event horizon where we're going to reach a point of no return where this is going to get even worse and that's going to become the norm oh yeah how, half of california burns down every year it's just that's just how it is nowadays yeah. but uh um, i don't know so hopefully one day uh politicians will get their heads out their ass and stop doing this left versus right argument trying to make this up and so and so and actually deal with what is actually going on in the world and this is something that's really happening. But at the same time, and I want to throw out really quickly, it also got a little bit chillier out here in Arizona quicker than it normally would have. Because I remember last year, sweating balls during Halloween, and this time it was, it was pretty damn nippy. 
So I'm not too and sure. That, that, that's still global warming. Yeah. It's still global warming. It's and then, the weather. So that that was one of the things. The shouts out to Fox News. They kill me when they say shit like this. Right? They're like, yeah. well, no, they're like, oh my God, uh, how is there such thing as global warming? My feet are cold right now. It's no. So global warming doesn't mean that it <laughs> never gets cold anymore. No, global warming means that the world's temperatures, the average temperature, is is steadily increasing, and as a result, all of the different weather effects are going to start changing. So when things get cold in certain areas are going to get colder than they normally do in some places where it gets hot it gets hotter nor than it normally does hurricanes are stronger than they normally were yeah. the changes in like everything the weather change they and so that's why it kills me what do you mean global warming i had to wear a coat to work this morning <laughs> it's like no you fucking dumbass no it's it's a little more complicated than that oh, yeah. If you didn't like this podcast, it's probably because you're racist. Yeah. Fuck your feelings, though. <laughs> yeah. What's up, man? You hear me?